what's up everybody just wanted to show off a quick little haul of some stuff i picked up it's mainly accessories i did get one transformers figure um but uh this is mainly an accessory haul to help out other people that do action figure photography or do dios and whatnot or anything of that nature but the first thing i want to show off this is from the transformers earthrise line this is an alley con and uh, it looks okay. I mean, it's nothing that's going to jump out at me. I was in a Walgreens, seen it, went ahead and just scooped it up to put on the shelf as a bad guy. I know some people are army building these uh, to go with their Quintessons. I do have one Quintesson coming in from Big Bad Toy Store. So uh, this will look great with it next to it. But uh, yeah, it comes with this tail feature too. And part of it comes out as a secondary weapon. Um, to give you an idea of what that looks like right there. I haven't transformed it or anything yet, but, uh, that's what we got right there going on. So, uh, the paint colors are real nice on it. And, uh, I do like the head sculpt, but, uh, yeah, got that. So, uh, picked up one transformer, but the main thing I want to show off are the accessories I've been picking up lately. Now, many times I have picked up the Tech Deck skateboards. Yes, they're a little bit larger than your normal one-to-one uh, -one scale if it was for a human being. But with these being uh, six-inch figures, you try to find as many 112 scale accessories that you can. So I picked this up. And just to give you an idea how big it is, here's Stan the man. And he's got some loafers on. But uh, as you can see... He stands on it pretty well, uh, and it'll look good for uh, action figure photography. I mean, you're not trying to do anything glamorous with it. Uh, he is having uh, a little difficulty standing on it because of them loafers, but just to give you an idea of what size it is, um, there it is right there compared to the actual figure, but uh, these are them Tech Deck skate finger skateboards or something like that, but they're, they're, very, they're made very well. Um, I've got about three or four others that I've used in some, uh, toy photography, but, uh, yeah, they look great. A lot of people get these just to collect and, uh, they're very well made, but it came with another accessory that I got, but, uh, here's a size comparison to a classified GI Joe series, which is a little bit bigger than, uh, Stan Lee. Let's see if I can get it out there. Let's see. There we go. But, uh. Yeah, so got that. So pretty happy to have that. I have done some photographs with Spider-Man on a skateboard. I would like to utilize those more. But the reason I got the skateboard, uh, it just happened to come with uh, an accessory. And the accessory is what I really was hoping to get. And this is a picnic table. You can see the Tech Deck logo on there. I saw this from uh, Al, Al's figures. He does a lot of dioramas. As soon as I seen it, I went on Amazon and scooped one up <coughs> and uh, took several photography pictures of like the Terminator T-800 uh, coming back in the wrong timeline to eliminate Marvel by shooting Stan Lee. It got some a little bit of hate, but it got a lot of uh, conversation started on it because, yeah, it was Stan Lee. But as you can tell, standing next to it, and I posted a lot of pictures on my Instagram it works flawlessly with six inch figures. I mean, this thing was perfect. I had Stan the man sitting at the table with the T-800 coming up on him. But um, to get an idea, it came in uh, five pieces, the bench, the bench, the main table, and the two leg assortments. And uh, you just connected it together. But uh, I got this and the skateboard for like $14, $15. And uh, I might get a secondary one to have like two picnic tables set up next to one another, like a park scene or whatnot. But, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're into uh, action figure photography or dioramas, don't hesitate to get these. I'm pretty sure once the word gets out about these, they're going to go pretty quick. Uh, I mean, they work perfect. But uh, again, that was the uh, Tech Deck toy line. And... Uh, the next thing that I picked up, let me take this pallet of guns and put right there. I had heard a lot about these from uh, Chris Pinkerton with Crashbox Customs and other diorama makers. 
of pallets that you could find at your local Dollar Tree. <clears throat> and I had heard about that going on, I, I want to say like a year and a half ago, and I had yet to come across them. And uh, I've made some pallets out of popsicle sticks off a tutorial I saw off of YouTube. Um, I posted uh, the ones that I made on my YouTube channel. I might have referenced who I learned them from. But again, if you just go to YouTube and search Palette 112 Scale uh, Tutorials, a lot of different dial makers have some videos up that'll help you. But uh, these were only a dollar. So I bought five of these, which was all that they had, uh, for five dollars. And I'll be honest with you, you can't get the materials cheaper than that to make these yourself. I mean, this is some pretty thick stock wood. I don't know uh, what type of wood. I made mine out of popsicle sticks. Some people have used balsa wood or um, some other wood products that you can get from hobby stores. But this looks perfect compared to the ones I made. And it took a little time to make the ones that I made. I used the hot glue gun to uh, connect the pieces and it was real you know, stringy, of course, how hot glue is. But you can see how it scales with one and six figures. Let me see if I get old stand to stand on it. I don't know if I can. Uh, probably be easier with gun ho. But there you go. Just to get an idea, but uh, look at that. I mean, that works perfect. Um, and what I'm going to do is get like a pen or a pencil, try to put some nail marks in it. And then I'm going to take some dirty uh, black wash water it just run it across it so it looks like it's kind of dirty and whatnot. It's sitting in an alleyway. Uh, again, I have been looking at Dollar Trees for a long time for these. Never had seen them, and I got lucky on finding them. I don't know if this could help anybody try to find them, but there's the information on the back. But um, those are just phenomenal. I, I really love the fact that I found these. I will be getting some more because for a dollar... I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> uh, they work out very well and uh, doesn't take a lot of time to buy these. It just takes a lot of time to search for them. But uh, it's a lot easier to buy one of these a, 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 for a dollar than it is to make them. But the next thing I want to show you, <coughs> excuse my coughing. The next thing I want to show you is I love collecting the new G.I. Joe Classified series. I love collecting Marvel Legend figures. But I don't like the Nerf type weapons that they throw in with the figures. And people can say what they want. Uh, I don't understand how Hasbro says they don't want to put a real looking gun in with a G.I. Joe figure. But if you buy a Deadpool figure, well, some Deadpool figures, they have miniaturized 112 scale looking real weapons with those figures. So. You know, I don't understand why they can't do it for the G.I. Joe Classified series. But what I've done is I went on either Etsy or eBay and purchased 112 scale weapons and also Marauders Gun Runners. Uh, they started doing 112 scale weapons and they're great. I like them. But when you start buying them that from people that are either 3D printing them uh using a cast, I guess you call it, to make them, it starts getting pricey for just an accessory. So uh, I talked to some other toy collectors, and they told me to also hit up Dollar Trees. <coughs> and I'm going to forgive the name, forgive me for the name of the figures. I can't recall the toy line. But I will put a picture, hopefully, right about here. <laughs> uh, That'll help me find it on the, because I suck at editing. That'll help me find it on the video to post a picture of the figures that these guns come with. But they're like G.I. Joe figures. They're about four inches, four and a quarter maybe. And the gun is almost the size of the figure. But these guns are coming with them. And you can see that's me bending it. And just to give you an idea, this came with one of my Marvel Legend figures. I want to say it was a Deadpool figure, but I could be wrong. Uh, but this is the same gun that also came with a Punisher figure. I want to say for the Netflix series. Now, it looks great. It's got some pretty decent paint on it. Uh, 
but look at that. A lot of their accessories is that bendable rubber type plastic, which yeah, it looks great, but when you put it in a person's hands, it's kind of giving it a warp look, and you can see why I'm doing this, and that's a Hasbro product right there. Now this came from a Dollar Tree with a figure and with some accessories. Some of the accessories was even a boat, and another one had a motorcycle. I didn't pick up the one with the motorcycle because uh, it was missing the gun. And that was the whole reason I was buying these sets. But look at this. That's me trying to bend that weapon. And uh, the sculpt is not that bad for a dollar. I mean, you're getting this with a, a figure, with another accessory, for a dollar. So rather than me going to eBay and buying two of these that either someone 3D printed or used in a cast, I got this for a dollar. And I donated the figure and uh, the other accessories to one of my nieces who likes action figures. But just to see what they look like, here's this one. I've got five to show you. Uh, here is this one. We got this one right here. And someone told me to use some silver dry brush on here to kind of make some of the stuff pop on it. But just to give you an idea, this might be the, is this the same one? I think this is, yeah, this is looks like the same one. But we'll show it off just to be safe. All right, and just to give you an idea, here is Stan the Man holding the shotgun one I picked up. And uh, he doesn't have too good of a trigger finger, so I just set it right there. So that is Stan the Man holding one of these shotguns. And here is Gun Ho holding, I don't know what this is. It looks like maybe a saw with a a sniper scope on it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, these are perfect for what I need them for. And as cheap as they are, I like one of my dios I want to try to build as an armory. And these are going to look per... Oh, you can't see it. Sorry. Let me try to raise the camera just to give you an idea. All right. If I was to build a diorama with these hanging up on the walls or whatnot, that is going to look perfect in the background of shots. Probably can't see it as good right there. So, uh, yeah. Hit up your Dollar Tree. I will try to either insert the pictures where I did the... Thumbs up, or I'll just put them at the end of the video. Most likely to be at the end of the video because uh, I suck at editing. I just like to show off some stuff I find. But uh, yeah, if you're into action figure photography, or you, or you know, just want to trade out your space guns for some real guns, this is it. This is great. This is bendable. <laughs> but yeah. I love real looking weapons compared to Nerf weapons. And these are going to look great with my G.I. Joe Classified series uh, and my Shield Agents. Uh, I'm real happy to get these. But, uh, okay. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you see some stuff maybe you like or some stuff that will give you some ideas. But uh, if you enjoyed this video, please look. I do have a little bit of an extensive backlog. I like to just basically show off hauls of action figures, accessories that I find, uh, dios, uh, vehicles that I've customized. I don't sell none of them. Uh, I just do it for my action figure photography. And uh, I just like making them and having fun and learning from other customizers and uh, trying new things. But uh, you can find me on YouTube under Richest World, which is where you're watching this at right now. I'm also on Facebook under Jimmy Rich, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and uh, show me some of the stuff you've made or tell me about it. But if you have any questions, just hit them up in the comments, and I'll try to answer them. Thanks for checking out my video, and I will see you next time.